hello everybody um welcome back to my channel um today's video is going to be about my hair as you see from the title of the video it's a new season it's finally summertime well it's been summer maybe for a couple weeks now i don't know but um yeah so if you follow me on instagram then you kind of already know how my hair is now so maybe three weeks ago i cut all my hair off again um i had so i've gotten a lot of questions or a couple questions i should say on um instagram and you know people wanted to me to do a video about my hair like my short hair and it's not that i didn't want to do it but i don't know for one i've been really busy um I just graduated. I took a mini vacay after graduation. I've been working, you know, just being back home, you know, seeing all my relatives and I'm here for a longer stay. So I've just been spending time with my family a lot too. So I haven't really just had the time to make the video on my short hair. And then also, I get, I don't want to say I didn't like it, but I was disappointed in my haircut. So I'll post pictures and everything um, because this is obviously not how I got my hair cut. It was kind of like a pixie style. It was the shortest that I've ever cut it. Um, normally when I cut my hair, I, also, I will always leave like the top part kind of long so that I could have like a bang. And so whenever I would do that, I would always be like, I should have got it cut shorter so that I could kind of wear like a flat look, you know, or just like more pixie style. So I wouldn't always have to bump the front or do something like that. So I went for a shorter look. Um, I went to the lady who's cut my hair the last two times that I cut it all off. So, you know, she always does my hair. So, um, yeah, I showed her a picture of Eva Pickford. And Eva's hair, is hers is short. Like, I wanted it short. But I guess she cut it too short, I should say. Like, when she cut it. Like, I like it cut short, but I still like it full, if that makes sense. Like, when you, you know how some people, their hair is cut short, but you can't really see their scalp. Like, mine was so short that you could see the scalp. Like, I kept telling my mom, like, I have a real taper in the back of my head. You know how guys get their hair cut? I had a real taper in the back of my head. And um, when I first got it done, that first day I left the hair shop, I did not like how she styled it. But the styling was, um, that was minor because once I came home, I put a part in it and kind of styled it to my liking and it was, you know, I was okay with that. But yeah, I was just disappointed because she didn't, like I showed her the picture, it looked nothing like the picture when she was done and I just felt like she didn't even try or make an attempt to do it like the picture and I just didn't like how she styled it and then... When I came home, I styled it, like I said, it was okay. But then the next morning, after I cut my hair, you know how you tie your hair up, and then the next day, it doesn't really necessarily look how it looked when you left the hair shop. And so that's when I really couldn't, like, notice how short it was. And when I seen the back of my head, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I was just looking at it, and I was like, it's so short. Because when I woke up that, you know, I tied my hair down, so when I woke up, it was, like, super flat. And so yeah it was one of them things like i panicked that next morning and i threw some pieces in the front but i was rushing because i had somewhere to go and i didn't like the way the pieces look so i ended up taking the pieces out and then later that day i tried putting the pieces in again i left them in for maybe a day and a half and then i had my graduation a couple days after that and i ended up taking the pieces out again because i just didn't like the way it was looking and so it kind of eventually um, by the third day, I would say the short look kind of grew on me and then it was one of those things where it's I didn't like I said I didn't like it because it was um, You could see like my scalp and it was too bald for me. It was too low for me But the thing with short hair is it grows back really really fast So, you know, I just started thinking positive like, you know in a couple weeks. It'll be pretty it'll be longer 
not that much longer, but it'll fill in more and hopefully I can get the look that I've been that I had originally wanted. So yeah. That was that. I don't know. The haircut, people liked it. Like nobody I didn't I didn't get any like bad comments on it or anything. But you know how you just have your mind set on something and um when you get it and it's not like how it, you thought it would be it just kind of ruins the whole thing that's how I felt like this is the first time I cut my hair and I wasn't satisfied and because I know a lot of people are always scared to cut their hair and it's like why would you do that it's so drastic but I've cut my hair enough and like all the other times like I'm cool like I didn't have a problem like I didn't have any regrets I don't really have any regrets this time it's just that it just wasn't what I wanted but I'm glad that I did it because I wanted to try it and now I know like if I do choose to cut my hair again I know exactly what to tell her the next time I go to the shop about making sure that it's still kind of full so it was a lesson and like I said people liked it it wasn't like a bad cut it was it just wasn't what I had wanted and then also I wouldn't call it a problem but an issue with the haircut is that um, since I had been wearing weaves from January to June my hair was growing and I hadn't permed it, I hadn't relaxed it. So all underneath, that six, I had six months pretty much of just new growth. So when she cut it, she cut off all my relaxed ends obviously because she cut it so short. So my natural hair is just like really thick and coarse. It's like a 4C, it doesn't have like a real defined curl pattern. And so when she permed it, like it did not take like, it didn't take, like my edges and stuff took pretty well. But like the middle part of my head, it did not take at all. So when I wash it, I literally have like a mini afro in the middle of my head. And so that was another issue because I felt like the hair, my hair was just getting so frizzy so fast because the relaxer didn't take. So now I guess I will move on this chair <laughs> to my current hairstyle. Um, so I guess one of the positive things that came out of me cutting my hair is that I was able to do this hairstyle again um I did this hairstyle back in November I have a video on this hairstyle and I will put the link to that video somewhere around here for you guys to go check out so yeah in November when I did the side cut look I really liked it but it's one of those things where it doesn't last for that long especially if you're growing your hair out you have to keep it cut so since my hair was short, I decided to do it again since I really like the hairstyle. Um, the only thing different is that this time I had to do a quick weave because um, my hair was shorter. And last time I did um, a sew-in. So yeah, this time it's a quick weave. But it's pretty much, I pretty much followed like the same, um, the same steps. I apologize because I know last time when I did that video... I said that if I ever do this hairstyle again that I would make a tutorial and I wanted to do a tutorial ugh, tutorial however um I did my hair at like 10 or 11 at night and I don't have like a fancy camera or any fancy lighting so it just would have been a fail and waste of a video if I did the tutorial so I'm sorry about that but I promise like if I do it again I'm really gonna try to um record it so you guys can see um if you do want a video to watch I watched um, the Urban Glamazon she has a couple of videos on doing her hair like this with the quick weave and so yeah I did watch her video um with her videos she ended up what did she do she um her weave part was pretty much a full weave like she made a closure or whatever and closed it up me I did leave some leave out out I mean my hair is like this long but you know I do like the leave out I feel like it makes it look a lot more natural so that was the only difference between um, what she did and what I did but I pretty much followed her video um, for the quick weave but if you know how to do your own weave it's really um it's really simple like you can figure it out and with placing your tracks and if you know, depending on how you want your hair to like, that's how you do it. Like, I wanted more of a bang, so I was making sure I was laying a lot of the tracks forward. And then as far as um, making sure my hair would cover up, I just always lay one track along my hairline to kind of fall over and blend. Now, I know you guys are going to ask, what kind of hair is this? But, um, I don't know. 
I went to the beauty supply and I just bought some like packaged hair. I want to say it's sensational, but I feel like I'm lying and I, that I just want to say it's sensational. I really do not know. I paid like $30 for it, one pack, and then I got a, this is, the pack of 16 inch is like $30. And then I bought like another pack of hair in the 12 inch because I knew the 16 inch wouldn't be enough, but I didn't want to pay another $30 for, <laughs> for a, another 16 inch. So the 12 inch was like a little cheaper. It might have been, well, no, because I felt like my 16 inch was almost $40. I don't know. The packaged hair has gotten really expensive, but I didn't want to pay too much money for um, this hairstyle and like buy some Brazilian hair, some Indian hair, anything like that because I knew that I wasn't going to wear the hairstyle for that long and um, I didn't want to buy any expensive hair and then use glue to install it. So that's why I just went ahead and um, bought this cheap hair. I mean, it's alright. It's packaged hair. So it's doing what packaged hair does. It sheds and it does tangle quite a bit. Not too bad, but at the same time I've only had this hairstyle, only had this hair in for maybe Like four days, probably. Yeah, like four days only had the hair in. So, you know, package hair always do good that first week. So, we'll see how it is next week. But it does curl right now. I have one curls in it that I just did. And so, it does hold a curl. And it's getting the job done for these two weeks. It just sheds and it does tangle a little bit. But it's all right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the hairstyle i did um go to the barber shop and have them line the back of my hair before i put this in i did get a um line so yeah that's it for this hairstyle it's cute it's fun summer like yeah it's cool so um i would say like stay tuned for more videos on my short hair however i don't know how much longer i'm going to be wearing the short hair like I said, I was a little disappointed in the cut because it was not what I wanted and it kind of just ruined all the excitement that I had for wearing my hair short. And so, and like I said, I don't hate it. I like, I like when I look at it, it's like, oh, it's not bad. It's just not what I wanted. So it's like, I don't know. So I've been kind of debating on what I'm going to do with my hair. Um, I've been thinking about getting it braided and... I don't know because I've also been playing with the idea of going natural like just completely transitioning um, especially since my hair is so short I don't want to say I've transitioned before but all the other times after I cut my hair um, when I would grow it back out I would let it grow naturally because I was wearing weaves and I just didn't feel the need to relax my hair but the other times when I did cut it um, and let it grow out like my hair was just a bunch of different lengths because it was growing out of the short haircut And I will always have longer hair on the top. So since my hair is pretty much All the same length for the most part. I mean the top of my hair is still longer, but it's really not that long I've been thinking about just really transitioning and um, Letting my hair just grow out But I don't know I haven't I haven't made a definite decision but either way I'm still going to do something with my hair because I don't think I really want to wear short I've been thinking about getting braids I was gonna go to um in high school I used to go to the Senegalese braiding shop and I used to wear micros a lot and I've been thinking about getting micros but they charge like 200 and up for micros and then plus buying the hair is gonna be at least another hundred dollars so I don't know if that's what I want to do because I feel like if I spend all that money, then I could buy a couple bundles of hair and then just wear like a sew in or something, make a U part and wear that. So yeah, I'm either going to do the braids or I've been thinking about doing a full weave and buying the closure and just wearing China bangs. But at the same time, it's summertime and it's going to be hot. So I don't know if I really want to wear China bangs. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, but I'm sure whenever I do decide, you'll see it on Instagram and you'll eventually see it here on YouTube. So, yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, just a little update on my hair, my pixie cut, and now my side cut that I'm wearing. 
and yeah that's it i hope you guys all enjoyed i hope it was a bit informative for you and i will see you on next video bye <laughs>